Hello there guys and welcome to Student Meals. In this episode I will show you how to make a Japanese style curry. I know it's not from scratch but it's super delicious and super easy to make. I hope that you enjoy this episode. So what you'll need is roughly four medium sized potatoes cut into cubes, also roughly four carrots also cut into cubes, one onion chopped but not too fine, make sure it's quite roughly chopped, chicken! Here I have two chicken breasts which we've cut up into blocks and finally the most important ingredient of them all, golden curry paste! Also known as just Japanese curry mix. If you want to make your own curry paste, that's fine by me, but I find this way, 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 way easier. And it's super delicious. Uh, we've recently discovered this brand and since then we've always been using this one. It's super easy, straightforward and always a really good result. We're not sponsored by the Golden Curry. Please sponsor us. So first of all, take a pot and put it on the fire. Take some olive oil, put it in there and let it get hot. You can use whatever oil you like. We just always end up using olive oil because it's delicious. Once the oil is hot, add in your chicken. Plump. And fry it until it's nice and golden brown. Instead of chicken, you can always use beef. It's just basically the same principle as making a stew. If you haven't seen our Belgian beef beer stew recipe, go check it out. It's definitely worth your time. So there you go. The chicken is almost done. So I'm just going to take it out. It doesn't have to be done all the way because you're still going to cook it in some water. Almost done is fine. In the same pot, add a little bit more olive oil, not too much. Let it get hot once more and then add in your onion and let it fry until it starts looking glazy so that all of the good onion flavors are released the sweetness of onion so as you can see the onion is nice and glazy now it's time to add the potatoes try not to miss the pot and the carrots give everything a real good stir so that the onions are not sticking on the bottom try to keep your veggies in the pot and not spread them all over your kitchen like I'm doing, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let it fry for a minute or two. If you fancy, you can always add more vegetables. For example, you can try it with beans or mushrooms. We've tried it with green beans once and we didn't really like it, so that's why we're showing you this recipe. Then add the chicken back into the pot. Give it another good stir. Now take roughly half a liter of water and add it in there so that everything is covered with water. I'm just going to add a little bit more than half liter so that my veggies are nice and covered. Then put a lid on it and bring it to a boil. Once everything is nice and boiling, cover it up back with a lid and let it cook until all of your veggies are nice and done. And also try not to burn your towel Bruh. in the process, like I did. <laughs> Pro tip! I'd say roughly 10 to 15 minutes on a medium to low fire. So roughly 15 minutes later, all of our veggies are done. I've checked, pressed my spatula against them and they're nice and soft. Now it's time to add the curry paste. Try not to drop it on the floor. <laughs> <You're> still... <laughs> ah! God damn it! I just said try not to drop it on the floor and I dropped a piece. What uh, What am I, a retard? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So take your curry paste, and as you can see, I've broken them up into blocks, uh, and then just add it to your pot. Distribute it here and there, and then give everything a good stir, and keep stirring until all of the paste is dissolved. You may also take a bigger pot. As you can see, I'm really struggling <laughs> with all this. I need water, so... For some reason, the paste always sticks to the chicken. Nothing else, just the chicken. You probably already noticed that the liquid is starting to become more thick. And this is what we want from a curry. Nice and thick. Thick boy! Mmm, starting to look good already. First time we ate a Japanese curry was at a convention and they served it just plain with potatoes and carrots and they had different toppings on it. For example, like uh, fried chicken, fried uh, shrimp. You can also do that instead of adding the meat straight to the curry. It's very versatile and there are a lot of different ways and variations to make a Japanese curry. I'm just showing you the basic one. And it looks delicious. I also like it with mm. pineapple. Nobody cares what you like, Tess. Tess. I also like it with pineapple. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Tess also likes this with pineapple, I think. There we go. The curry looks done. Just turn off the fire, cover it with a lid, and it's ready to be served. I'm just going to remove the lid to show the beauty of it. I'm just going to show you the consistency of the curry. As you can see, it's quite thick, but it's still a little bit runny. So I like this consistency. If you like it thicker, just uh, cook it for a little bit more. Serve it up with some rice and enjoy. And uh, please, uh, Golden Curry, sponsor us. Sponsor us, please. If you like it, sponsor, sponsor, sponsor us, please. Send us, send us a lot of these packets. We will eat curry for years. I, I like this episode of uh, Student Meals ASMR. I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna start by clicking my fingers. Do you like that? <laughs> uh. Time for a test test. So I took a little scoop in this cute little bowl, and I'm going to try some. I'm gonna try and take a bit of everything. It's still very hot, so. I'm really curious about the spiciness. Yeah. Me too. Will you be able to handle the spiciness? I hope so. <clears throat> it's medium hot. No, or it's hot. That was hot. Yeah, it's not medium hot. <laughs> okay. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. The nose is starting to run. Already? <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, so my nose is starting to run a bit. It's not that spicy. Well, it is a bit spicy, but it's good. I really like the combination of the flavors. The softness of the potatoes and the softness of the carrots are perfect with, with the texture of the chicken. And I also like that it's not like too mushy. So that's very nice. It's not that spicy yet. Maybe if I eat a whole bowl of it, it would be spicy, but I think I can handle it. I think so. I know there are other variations of the same brand that sell, um, that are less spicy so like medium hot or medium or whatever this is the hot one if you're not really into hot food you can or spicy food you can just buy the others but it's really really good so thank you guys for watching this episode we hope you enjoyed it and as always see you in the next one goodbye